Hello, I'm Christina with The Turned Leg. I love to salvage, repurpose, and create and help others to do the same. I also love to go thrifting and recently my daughter found out that there was a Goodwill thrift store that was completely dedicated to books in our area. We actually found out about the Goodwill thrift bookstore from my friend Jamie who owns Jaybirds. You can find her on Facebook and I'll put all the information in the description box below. She loves vintage and books. In fact, she made these cute little party favors for my daughter's birthday because she's having a book themed birthday. So go check her out if you love books and you are local to southeastern Michigan. Now my daughter is obsessed with books she loves books she's even working on creating a library in her bedroom by the way a library means 1000 books since she is so crazy about books we knew we had to go so we headed to temperance michigan the goodwill bookstore in temperance michigan is not your average goodwill first off it only has books and it also looks like a high-end barnes and noble all the books are nicely displayed and well organized by category, but best of all, there still are goodwill prices on everything. I was also surprised to see that they also have a lot of homemade gifts that you can purchase and many of them are book themed. This is the perfect place if you're looking for a great gift idea. In the store, they have a lot of new books, but they also have a lot of vintage books like this Better Homes Garden book, which is a great staple to have. And just like any thrift store, you can spot the hidden treasure, like the Trap Family Book of Christmas Songs. And the Goodwill Bookstore also has a lot of things that you would find at other bookstores, like magazines and DVDs, CDs, and even VHS. But best of all are the prices. There also is a great little reading nook in comfy chairs right by the windows, and they have tons of classic books. I was so excited to find their old books section because they color block their books, and it's so visually appealing. All the books in the same color are put together. This is also a great way that you can pick up a nice stack of color blocking books for your own home to add to your decor. Of course, I also sell color blocking books in my booth at Plaza Antiques and Collectibles Mall in Lincoln Park, Michigan. And it's just another fun way to add some color to your decor. But I think my favorite section of the whole bookstore was the children's section. They had all of the classics and there were a lot of families with young children there shopping. They also have comic books, they have manga, they have graphic novels. So it's for children of all ages. And in that area too, they have this area that you can sit down and read books. I also loved their wall art. Besides the store being really great, my daughter really enjoyed the map on the way out because you can put a pin in showing where you have come from. And there are people that have come from pretty much all over the U.S. to the new Goodwill Thrift Bookstore. Now to continue your book theme day, I highly recommend stopping at the Old Schoolhouse Commons and having lunch in the Old Schoolhouse Lunchroom. It is a fun place to visit with great food at great prices. We were done at the bookstore and had a wonderful lunch and realized, you know, Temperance, Michigan is not too far from the Ohio, Michigan border. So it was time to check out a few of our favorite thrift stores in Toledo, Ohio. If you're in the area, you're really not too far from the border with Ohio. So my daughter and I decided it would be fun to hop over to Toledo, Ohio and visit a few of our favorite thrift stores. And do you see that sweet little wooden chair in the corner? Well, that was one of the many treasures that I brought home with me. Stay tuned to the end of the video to see everything that I brought home.
Now, this was a Friday afternoon, so we were kind of curious to see how picked over it would be, but we did still find some cool things, like this creamer and sugar, although I'm positive I have the exact same set already in my booth for sale, so I passed on it. Now, remember, I recently have gotten an entire home estate. If you want to find out more about taking in all of that inventory and how I organize it, you can click on the link above, but I'm really trying to show shop smart this time. They really had some cool looking silver-ish serving pieces, but unfortunately right now I have a stash of them and I just don't need any more even though the price was right. They also had some really great pottery pieces. But overall, they did have a lot less inventory. That's why it's always so important when you're going thrifting to get there early or find out when they restock to get the best shopping experience. The book section here is quite small and my daughter had plenty of books that she got at the previous store. And it was off to the furniture section. The Salvation Armies always seem to have the better prices in Toledo. This was a really nice set. There were tons of chairs, as they always are. But I liked this painting. Unfortunately, on closer examination, it really looked a little bit more novice than it did from further away, so I decided to pass on it, but I am obsessed with oil paintings lately. Since they didn't have a lot of furniture today, they had set up a makeshift holiday area, and this was filmed right before Thanksgiving, so they still had a lot of good Thanksgiving items out to choose from. And I always check the linens here. I loved the granny square throw, but the prices have gone up a bit. Looks like it has changed from whatever it was originally now to $9.99. Most Afghans I have purchased at that store were more around 2 to 3 to even $4. So the prices have gone up a bit. I decided to pass on it. We had already had a very long day, but there was one more Salvation Army that we could hit before we headed back to Michigan. And I did spot some really cute vintage kitchen treasures like this corn set, napkin holder, and salt and pepper. The furniture area had a lot more pieces and I was soon going to find out why. This little end table I think originally had a marble top to it, but someone had replaced it with fabric. So at $20, the price is too high, even though it did have beautiful details. I was also in love with this green desk, which was already sold. And then there was this piece, which was a project piece someone had started. There was patching, there was painting to about half of it, and then they had stopped. $100, a little bit too much for a project that was half done. From all of the furniture that I spotted, I probably should have picked up this last piece, which was a corner cabinet bookcase for only $35. But since my garage and storage spaces at home were pretty much filled with furniture, I decided to pass on it. But I am regretting that decision now. Bookcases like this are so popular and sell quick. Ah, the things we find at thrift stores. <laughs> I spotted some pink Melmac bowls, but they were only the bowls for $3.99. If you watch my videos a lot, at this thrift store there was someone that was painting items. And this is another painted item. It was originally home interiors, but I could tell when I flipped it over that the pink, I think, had been added. 
I also found out that the painted figurine I had seen before was still there and had not sold. Someone had added a bunch of black to it. This store always has good vintage dishes. I spotted these Pyrex mugs and I always find milk glass. I also checked the Christmas section because the Salvation Army had an area of Christmas set up a little early. You want to come see what I found thrifting in Toledo, Ohio? I promised myself I wouldn't get more children's stuff, but I loved this chair and loved the color. I just found a few things when I went thrifting. I'm really trying to only get what I absolutely have to, and the corn were one of them. Oh my goodness, 99 cents each for the corn, salt, and pepper. My daughter also found the shoes. I have no idea what they're used for. Are they just like a souvenir? Comment below, she thought they were cool. She also liked the souvenir salt and pepper shakers, so I picked those up for her. And you know, I always pick up a wool throw. This sold right after I brought it in. So the wool throws are hard to find by me and they sell quick. Thank you so much for watching this video. Now, my question to you is, do you have a thrift store that is a book thrift store, just like we do here in Michigan in Temperance, Michigan? And if so, have you checked it out? If you haven't, you really might want to. I appreciate you guys watching so much. I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. And if you like this thrifting video, perhaps you'll enjoy checking out this video that I did a while back. Thank you again for watching. Now get out there to salvage, repurpose, and create.